Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another Stephen King book review. You guys like the new shelves? I hope so. I think I already introduced them, but if not, you can get an introduction to them at some point. Um, anyways, so today we are talking about the second novella in Stephen King's new, I'm still reading it, so it's in the house, Stephen King's new novella collection, If It Bleeds. We are talking about the second story, Life of Chuck. Uh, there's a, quite a few people who enjoyed this book um, that... We're talking about how it makes them want to go read The Stand. Uh, if you hear people, if, if you want my opinion on the matter, if you hear people talking about this, I disagree. Um, I, don't think it, I don't think it fits in with The Stand as much as I think it fits in with, and we're going to talk about this in Thursday Theorist, uh, I think it ties more into the Langoliers. That might, be a, that might be a spoiler for the Theorist video, but oh well, that's what we're going to do. The, the story is told in reverse order, um, the novella is. Uh, it starts in Act 3, goes to Act 2, and ends on Act 1. I thought that was a very cool way of, of doing the end to the beginning type of storyline. And I really like Chuck. Um, I, I, <laughs> I will also say that those of you scratching your head um, about the UK cover that looks like Michael Jackson or MC Hammer got Thanos snapped. Um, that act so so far, at, in my opinion, that cover fits the collection better than the cat with the rat penis nose. Um, in my opinion, it does. Uh, in fact, I don't I don't really see the purpose of the the American cover, I would have gone with something more striking from, from, let's say, If It Bleeds, or maybe even something from the the first one, Mr. Harrigan's Phone. I don't know why they they picked this this cover. I don't I don't know. It, the UK cover is definitely not one I'm going to be collecting, but I do find it funny that this is the story that they chose to use for the UK cover. One more thing, and I hate talking about this book. I honestly do hate talking about this book, but I'm going to bring it up anyways. Uh, elevation. The feeling and the emotional payoff that maybe we were expecting or, you know, that we wanted to see, or the people, those of us that disliked Elevation so much. Uh, it is currently my worst Stephen King book. Uh, I hate it with a passion. I never want to read it again. Will I? Maybe. I don't know. Um, but... We, everything I feel that he was attempting to do in Elevation, in, if you take away the LGBTQ uh, subplot or the, the theme there, I think you get the emotional payoff here in Life of Chuck, and I really wish that this story had been available on its own instead of Elevation. I wish Elevation would have just went into a trunk. Um, maybe we would have got it after he had passed away or whatever, or we just could have been happy and never knew it existed. But Life of Chuck is a fantastic, fantastic story about the connections that we make and how we interact with people. And it's full of a lot of heart and love and passion, and it is this storyteller working on all cylinders. It is a terrific piece of writing, if nothing else. Um, and like I said, I don't agree that you should pre-game pre with the stand or read the stand next. I think you're going to be disappointed. Um, another thing that he kind of gets on the head is the whole, the, the virus stuff that's going on now and how things are shutting down. This book is very prescient. Um, I hope that's the right word. <laughs> I'm a writer. Um, th this book, it doesn't predict, but it, it goes down the way it's going down. So if things were to escalate and things were to get worse, then this, I feel, would be even better a breakdown of society and the things that we use for convenience. I think that this book stands stronger than maybe even The Stand. Um, I know those are bold terms, but with The Stand, you didn't really get as much of the world shutting down as we got of the rebuilding um, the actual virus at the get-go, and then it's kind of glossed over because I don't think King knew. He didn't have the resources at hand to work that hard in the area of shutting everything down, whereas nowadays it's as easy as a Google search. So I love this one. 
this is our, I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now, this is my favorite novella collection since different seasons. Um, it's, it's, it's an amazing collection. Um, I am done with it, so the reviews will hopefully come pretty rapid fire um, after this. But I do hope that people read this story and they don't go in expecting the stand. I hope they go in looking for a good story well told by a fantastic fantastic storyteller, a man who I would call our greatest living storyteller. So have you read, if it, let, 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 let's rewind this, have you read um, Life of Chuck? If you have, please don't post, post, post yeah, please don't post spoilers. Um, I do have a question for you, uh, other than did you like it, did you not like it? Um, do you want me to do a separated Thursday theorist for this book? Or do you want me to put them all together? Also, for a spoiler video, do you want me to put them all together? Or do you want them spaced out like I'm having to do? You're, you're going to have to wait as long either way because it takes just as long to upload one long video as it does several small ones. So let me know down there in the doobly-doo. Please, if you didn't like this uh, novella, let me know why you didn't like it. If you disliked let me know why you didn't like it so we can have a conversation down there in the doobly-doo. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.